Yeah, well, okay. Uh, you know, I watched this movie. You know, it was uh, good. It was a lot better than the last time I watched it. But yeah, this is Derek Yasha, and today I'm going to review Cujo. Yes, so the movie begins off, of course, with Cujo chasing this rabbit. And mainly what happens is when the rabbit goes into the hole, the bat flies onto Cujo's nose and lands on his nose and bites Cujo's nose. So, yeah, Cujo gets rabies. Okay? So, then what happens is Tad can't sleep. Okay, so he's afraid of monsters. So, uh, what happens is uh, he runs to, uh, you know, his mom and dad's room. And, of course, uh, the dad is telling them, look, there, there's no monsters. I'll make a list for you, this and this and that. <coughs> Okay, uh, what you find out uh, in that morning, uh, his job, he's, his job is not doing so good, okay, they're, they're going down, okay, they're going down, like people saying that the cereal gave him diarrhea, uh, some people were saying that it cut their mouth, this and this and that, you know, yada yada, okay. But um, then uh, what happens is, of course, uh, you know, you you uh, have the the pinto, of course, the the, the ghetto pinto, and of course that you know the, the car has problems. But um, um, pretty much that plays a big part in the movie later on. Okay, no, I know, but mainly the the movie is a little bit of filler, so you're gonna have to deal with the filler if you want to see you know Cujo. Uh, you know, tear some shit up later, okay? No, I know, but the movie is just filler, 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 filler. Man, it's 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 a lot worse than Bleach. No lie, this movie has more filler than Bleach. No, I know, but anyways, what happens is, of course, uh, the wife is having an affair on you know her husband Vic, okay? Seriously, she's Donna is having an affair on Vic, which you know I'm like fuck you, bitch. I don't even care about your ass. Seriously, if you're gonna cheat on the man that brings food into the house, if you're gonna cheat on his ass, of course with Steve, yeah, quote unquote Steve, the next door neighbor and tennis player and jackass, of course, yeah, because pretty much the guy is an asshole. Okay. And then, whatever, okay, whatever, all right. But um, anyways, um, you know, just going back and forth between the hillbillies and the family, of course. You know, it's just going back and forth, okay. But um, then what happens is um, Cujo comes home, and you know, the kid is asking him, "What what's wrong with you, Cujo?" You know, the the kid that owns the dog. Yeah, but um, anyways, uh, what happens is, um, you know, Cujo is just, uh, you know, uh, killing uh, this guy and killing this guy, of course, you know, and uh, pretty much the movie is more filler, and then we get, we get to the part where, you know, the movie gets interesting, okay? Um, what happens is uh, Donna has to go take the Pinto to get fixed. Okay, and she's got Tad in the car. Alright. So, uh, pretty much the Panto, or the Pento, however you say it, gets broken down at the the middle of nowhere. That barnyard or whatever that they fix the car at. Okay. So, yeah, Cujo was there. Okay, and um, pretty much uh, what happens is um, they stay in the car, okay, because they can't get out of the car because Cujo will kill their ass and bite their ass, okay. So, yeah, uh, pretty much um, this kind of reminded me of Jaws a little bit, kind of, you know, where, you know, it was just set in, in one place, okay, and the dog is just attacking the car and shit, you know, just doing Okay, yeah, I know, and uh, pretty much what happens is they gotta spend um, 
you know, a couple of days in the car. I think it's like three or something. I really don't know. I think it's three, okay? I don't really know. The movie doesn't explain whatever. No, I know, but what happens is the dog is trying to get inside the car. He's trying to attack them and shit. And um, pretty much what happens is, um, you know, everything is just going fucking crazy, okay? Uh, what ha happens is, uh, you know, the, the police guy comes there and mainly he doesn't take his gun out. He's like, oh, I know that th there's, you know, something here. Maybe, maybe there's, um, you know, some, some kind of like killer here, or maybe there's something here. Okay. Let me take out my gun. No, the dumbass is just walking and then he gets attacked by the dog. And then when he tries to take out his gun. The dog is chomping on his ass, alright? So, yeah. Alright? So, so, yeah, after that, of course, um, you know, Donna um, gets the courage to get out and try to fight the dog, of course, because her son is having a seizure in the car from dehydration and, of course, not eating no food at all. Yeah. So yeah, she fights off the dog, and then of course uh, she tries to get her son in the house. She does, uh, gets water on on him, gets uh, gives him mouth to mouth res resuscitation, and of course um, you know he he's uh, breathing again, he's uh, to life, and of course the dog breaks in and, and uh, tries to attack them, but then she gets the gun and shoots it. And then, of course, uh, pretty much, uh, Vic comes there, and then that's the end of the movie. No, I know, but, um, anyways, um, let me just explain this, okay? Some of the characters I only cared about was, you know, Vic, Tad, Cujo, and, of course, the kid that owned Cujo. Okay, that's it. All the other characters are either fucking assholes, or you don't give a shit about them, okay? Seriously, but, um, anyways, um, for, you know, the dog, uh, daddy that played Cujo, uh, it gets five out of five for, uh, you know, Cujo, all right? You know, daddy did a good performance, all right? He did a good performance as Cujo, all right? Um, as for, um, you know, the actors in the movie, the, actu the actors and the actresses, um, pretty much the movie gets maybe a four out of five just because you know you had some of the characters that you didn't really care for you know at first they're assholes you know so yeah okay the, the movie had um good cinematography the movie had good visuals the movie had good everything okay but um the movie had awesome practical effects okay and the movie um, looks good, you know, it looks way better than, you know, the, the, the copy that I had, you know, plus this uh, DVD was digitally remastered, so, yeah. No, I know, but, um, you know, you're gonna, um, be pissed off with some of the characters, you're gonna probably be mad, you're gonna probably wanna, uh, turn off the movie, okay, but, but don't let them, don't let that turn you off the, off the movie because the movie gets better in the third act. Believe me, it gets better in the third act. You know, but yeah, I guess that's my movie review for Cujo. And let me talk about the DVD itself. Okay, so this is the 25th anniversary edition, and of course, uh, you have the slip cover which has Cujo's dog tag on it. And, of course, it's similar to Alpha Omega Sin's dog tag, okay? And, of course, uh, you slip this off, and it's just a regular cover, like this, and then you turn the back, yeah. And, you know, as for special features, you only got two special features, of course, which is the audio commentary and, of course, a three-part making up, okay? So, yeah, you know, that's that's pretty good in itself. You know, this movie could have got a lot more, but, you know, just be happy for what we're given, seriously, for the 25th anniversary edition. All right?
but yeah, um, so far, you know, the picture on this DVD looks good, you know, good DVD, you know, really awesome, I like the, the cover that they gave it, of course, you know, like a foggy cover, but then you slip it off and then it's just like a regular, you know, DVD cover. But yeah, um, you know, you should really check out this movie, you know, don't let the, the other stuff turn you off of the movie, and yeah, I am out, alright, peace.